These are really nice. If resale prices mean anything, then it's pretty clear to see that the Jordan 4 is by far the most popular Jordan model. And when you see a pair like this, you can totally understand why people cannot get enough of the 4s. My name is Josh and I will be reviewing the Jordan 4 Craft Photon Dust. So here we go, one of the nicest colorways of the Jordan 4 to drop in the last year, the Jordan 4 Craft. These released worldwide February the 11th for a higher retail price of $225, 225 euros in Europe. And the reason for that is because the materials used on this pair are much more premium than your normal Jordan 4s. It's been a great week for people who love the Jordan 4s. Not only did we get this pair earlier in the week, we had the Jordan 4 Oil Green or Sea Foam. And if you haven't already watched my video, I will leave a link up here. Make sure you watch that review review as well. I was very excited to receive this pair. I did get a W for this on the sneakers app. Well, kinda, because I got my W notification on the app only to find out that I accidentally ordered the shoe in my girlfriend's size, which is a men's US 6. So this is the men's pair, just in a much smaller size. Thankfully, at least it's not a GS version because GS pairs normally have a much lower level of quality than your men's pairs. So even though these aren't my size, I'm happy to at least get a men's pair to review for you guys. Let's get into the shoes now, starting off with the box so you do get a special box here it's covered all over in that photon dust or gray color and it has like a cement print on it you got the Jumpman logo in that yellow color which is officially called pale vanilla and before we get into the shoes let me just talk about this colorway real quick this is a really nice colorway and I do believe that over the last year this is one of the cleanest colorways we've seen so far of the fours the main color that's used here this photon dust it's like a light gray or more of like a bluish gray you got some hits of yellow the Jumpman logo on the tongue yellow also on the lace loops and then finally at the back of the shoe you have once again that Jumpman logo done in pale vanilla the yellow color giving a very nice contrast with the rest of the shoe the midsole is done in a nice cream color and then finally you have the outsole done in more of a darker gray just based on the colorway alone these are sick let me know down in the comments what do you guys think of this colorway but let's talk about what really sets the shoe apart from other fours and that is the different combination of materials used here usually when it comes to the fours the upper is entirely all leather or all nubuck or in some cases all suede this time however you get a lot of different materials so looking at let's start off at the mud guard you get some suede there not the softest feeling suede to be completely honest and the toe box is actually split up into two separate pieces of suede the tongue of the sneaker is also done in that hairy suede material the tongue by the way is very plush looking at the back of the tongue there's a very nice very soft fur like material and what's very unique about this shoe is on the cages they're also made out of suede I can't remember the last time we've seen suede used on the cages of a Jordan 4 most of the panels on the upper are actually in fact made out of this pretty soft leather and you'll notice these leather panels as well it seems to all be stitched together it's not like one strip of leather all over the shoe like it normally is with fours and additionally one more material used here so on the ankle collar on the medial side there is some cracked leather used there it's similar to the leather you saw on the Amamania ones additionally there seems to be a very randomly placed strip of suede also along the ankle collar which is not something I've seen on a pair of fours before yeah very unique shoe definitely stands out from other pairs I'm definitely liking the different materials here it's one of those few cases where I'm like okay I kind of understand why you guys charge a bit of a premium for this so throughout this year we've been seeing other models also come out with this craft version we saw it on the mids as well as the lows and more recently even on the Jordan 2s and all of these pairs have a similar theme they're all using different types of materials. I definitely think these fours, however, are the best so far out of this entire craft series. The only laces that come with the pair are these dark gray laces, which is too bad because we didn't get the yellow laces. And I also think a nice pair of cream or beige laces would have gone really well with this pair, especially matching the midsole. You can, of course, cop that from my own store, Elevate Laces. The link is in the description. We do ship worldwide for a very affordable price. For sizing on these, shout out to my girl for doing the on feed. I got it in her true size, which is a men's US 6, and it does fit her perfectly. With me as well, Jordan 4s are always true to size. These fit me the same my advice for you guys is go with whatever your normal Jordan 4 size 
sizes. A lot of people tell me that going through the size is a bit too tight for them. They go a half size up. So if that's the case, stick with that same size in this craft pair as well. Looking at what these are going for right now on the resale market. So they are, of course, reselling for quite above retail, which is no surprise. It is a four and it's a very clean pair of fours after all. My advice for you guys is based on how every single other pair of fours have been performing over the last year, you can expect the prices of these to go up, especially as we head into the spring and summer. And this was also a very limited release, so I don't see these prices staying too low for much longer. So I would suggest copying sooner than later. There are some affiliate links in the description to help you guys cop as well. Overall, the Jordan 4 Craft, I think these are just a fantastic pair of fours. We've gotten two great pairs this week. I'm sure a lot of you guys are comparing this with the sea foams, wondering which one's better. I think arguably the sea foams are a better colorway, but these you're definitely getting some much better materials. And in my opinion, these are more worth the money than the sea foams. A very, very unique pair of Jordan 4s. Let me know down in the comments, what are your impressions about the Jordan 4 craft? For me, I definitely got to say these are a cop. Do not forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, dropping daily content there. And check out the bi-weekly sneaker podcast as well, the Kickback Pod. The links to all of these things are in the description. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.